We're here in South Africa's stunningly beautiful Eastern Cape with Nduna Hunting Safaris, and we're, well, hunting. Now normally we hunt for a particular animal, but today we just decided to head out into the bush with Clint and then just walk. Kind of a traditional style of safari where you're not after anything in particular, you just kind of see what comes along. And we've seen plenty of game. Now here in Sunday's River Valley, the topography offers, should we say, the perfect habitat for a variety of different creatures. Kudu, Inyala, Bushbuck, even red hartebeest like it up there. There's also open grasslands, perfect for blue wildebeest, for springbuck, and for other plains type game. So I've hunted in this area quite extensively before, and I've taken a variety of different creatures, and the farm has got plenty of game. But this afternoon, we decided to take a look along one of the ridges for bushbuck and for kudu, but also impala or anything else that might come across. Now the bush here is very, very thick, and it's quite rocky underfoot, so you've got to be very careful when you're stalking to make sure you're not creating too much noise. Just as there is enough cover so that you can creep in close to animals, it also means that there could be animals very close to you without you even realising. So to begin with, we kind of stalked over the crest of the hill, keeping the sun at our backs and the wind in our faces. We carried on a little bit further and came across a couple of impala. Now, there is just something I love about hunting impala. They're not a particularly expensive animal, the meat is very nice, but they're absolutely beautiful skins. So there was two pretty good rams. There was one slightly bigger ram, but he kind of skipped off into the bushes. And then there was a smaller ram that just stood and gave me the opportunity. Roughly 140, 145 yards, something of that nature. And he was stood perfectly still, looking back at us. But the window was absolutely perfect. I couldn't see low enough to take a heart shot, but he gave me the top of his shoulders, which was good enough for a spine shot, which means that trajectory of the bullet would come through the front shoulder, through the spine, and then out the other side. So I gave myself a few seconds, steadied myself on the sticks, and took the shot. And boom, he went straight down. <laughs> a perfect shot, a very humane kill, and a beautiful impala. As the afternoon continued, we decided to carry on and see what else we'd come across. So Clint took us through the bush, across another ridge, into a valley which is absolutely teeming with kudu. In fact, we saw quite a few young bulls and cows. Unfortunately, there wasn't a decent mature bull, but what did come out was something extremely unusual. This part of South Africa is a very, very strong area for bushbuck. And what walked out in front of us was probably the biggest bushbuck trophy I've ever seen. So much so that I think I got a little bit nervous. I was up on the sticks, once again about 150, 160 yards, pointing down, nice deep breath. It's a shot I've taken a thousand times in the past. I squeeze the trigger, and then I saw just above the bushbuck, the branches explode. He stood perfectly still. Wasn't entirely sure what went on. I reloaded again and took another shot. Once again, about two inches high. Well, what can I say? Two completely clean misses. He didn't give me another chance. Straight back into the bushes and away he went. I think that's the one that got away, Clint. What do you think? Good luck to you. <laughs> There'll be other days. So even though I didn't get the trophy, I still had a phenomenal experience. A great stalk, a beautiful afternoon, a lovely impala, and then just one that got away.